Hello and welcome to Learning with Lisa. In today's video we will be learning about the plants and animals found in meadows. While you are watching keep a lookout for the little field mouse. Tell me at the end how many times it appears. Let's start by finding out what a meadow is. Well, a meadow is a habitat that is covered mostly with grasses, flowers and other non-woody plants. Meadows are often large open spaces with a few trees and often has a hedge around its edge. Sometimes meadows may be cut for hay or grazed by cows, sheep and goats. Meadows are home to many small mammals such as field mice, voles and shrew who spend their time munching on seeds from plants and eating insects found amongst the plants. Not all meadows are the same and will depend on the soil underneath the grass. Did you know that different types of soil will attract different creatures? Marbled white butterflies prefer chalky soils and the red and black six spot burnet moths enjoy acidic soils. You will see different creatures at different times of the year too. During the spring I enjoy listening to the skylark bird singing loudly as it flies higher and higher. Summertime is a good season to listen out for cuckoos. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! The time of day matters too. During the day you might be lucky to see a green woodpecker visiting the hills made by lots of little ants. Green woodpeckers love to eat ants. An ant hill to a woodpecker is like McDonald's to us. If you visit a meadow at dawn or dusk you might be lucky to see a visiting barn owl. Barn owls are silent hunters and can easily spot a tasty vol or two. A wide variety of wildflowers grow in meadows. Buttercups, dandelions, nettles and clover are just a few plants that are typically found in meadows. They are very important to nectar loving insects such as bees and butterflies as they are rich in nectar. They are also perfect for spiders and ladybirds as well. Let's look at some other reasons why meadows are important and should be looked after. We know that they provide food for many other creatures. Here is an example of a food chain. The grasshopper eats grass, the mouse eats the grasshopper and the owl eats the mouse. Meadows are not only home to a wide variety of animals, they provide space for animals to nest and have babies of their own. Long grasses provide protection against the weather and provide a place for small mammals to hide from birds of prey. Hedgerows that surround meadows are important too. They are home to butterflies, moths, dormice and birds such as cuckoos and doves. They act a little bit like a pavement and allow wildlife to move more safely from one place to another. Meadows help pollinators 
with their nectar rich plants. And finally, they make a good place for creatures to shelter in the winter. Unfortunately, like many other habitats, meadows are under threat from activities such as farming. Farmers use fertilizers to make the crops grow, but unfortunately, these can destroy the smaller, rarer plants found in meadows. Farm buildings are also being built on meadows too and are causing them to slowly disappear. Some hedgerows are also being cut down to make bigger fields and some are even being replaced by fences. For meadows to stay as meadows, they need to be looked after. If they are left alone, bushes and trees will begin to grow and in time the meadow will become a woodland. So as you can see, there are many threats to meadows, but let's find out what we can do to protect them and the animals and plants that live in them. You could ask your adults to make a dormouse nest box. They are a little like bird boxes, but dormouse nest boxes have entrance halls facing the tree. This is to make it difficult for birds to use them. Dormouse nest boxes provide a warm and safe place to snuggle up during the daytime. You could also build an insect hotel from recycled wood. Bamboo canes or even just halls drilled into wood make good hiding places for bees and ladybirds. Try adding some pine cones and logs. Spiders, beetles and wood lice enjoy hiding amongst them. Let's see how much you can remember. It's now time for our quiz. What is a meadow? Is it a place full of trees? An open field with some hedges? Or a place with lots of sand? A meadow is an open field, maybe surrounded by some hedgerows. When are you most likely to see an owl hunting? During the night? On a bright sunny day? During the rain? You are most likely to see an owl hunting during the night. What do green woodpeckers enjoy eating? Spiders, ants, beetles. Green woodpeckers enjoy eating ants. Which one of these is a nectar loving pollinator? Butterfly? Grasshopper, spider. The answer is butterfly. Which sorts of plants are you most likely to see in a meadow? Lilies, buttercups and dandelions, trees. You are most likely to see buttercups and dandelions. What do owls eat? Plants, birds of prey, mice. Owls enjoy eating mice. Why are meadows important? They provide homes for animals. People like to camp there. They are a good place to build houses. Animals like to live there. Which part of the plant does the mice eat? 
the leaves, the seeds, the petals. Mice enjoy eating seeds. We've now reached the end of our video all about meadows. How many times did you see the little field mouse? I saw it more than 10 times. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. There are lots more to watch all about the different habitats. So if you haven't seen them, please consider subscribing to my channel. Until I see you again, bye bye for now. Bye.